Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. You guys are loving the player reviews at the moment and I was given the opportunity to review this Makaleli card. Here's who we are going to be reviewing today. Middle Makaleli. I've used his baby card. He was really, really nice. I thought, why not test this one out? So thank you to the guy who let me use his account. I'll leave his Twitter in the description below if anyone wants to follow on Twitter. But before we get into it, if you enjoy this video, smash a like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. I'm not sure when I'm going to be dropping this. It depends on what EA do with Footmus. So hopefully I'll have a lot of Footmus content coming out very, very soon. But this card interests me because I used his 85 rated card, which has better pace, has better shooting, things like that, but it doesn't have the defending. It doesn't have the physical. It's not the defensive beast that you need in this game. It's And it's so much cheaper. This card comes in 650,000 coins on the PS4, 590 on Xbox One, and 680,000 on the PC. He's got three star skill moves, three star weak foot, which is standard, I guess, for a CDM. 80 acceleration, 77 sprint speed. He looks great. 90 composure, which is always great. 91 stand tackle, defensive awareness of 89, 88 stamina, short passing 87, long passing 81. Aggression 86, strength 86. He is a fantastic card in this game. And I do have a shadow on this card. And he goes to a 90 rated CDM with 91 pace, 91, 95 acceleration, which is just crazy. Low high work rates, 5 foot 9, French. He looks great. He really, really does look good. The 90 rated card, obviously being the prime card, he misses out on a plus, few plus twos, few plus threes in certain areas. That is the best card of Makaleli that you can go for. This one is a nice work towards the prime card though. I really do think that. And you might be wondering, should I upgrade a Kante or an Allen to get this card? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this review. So what we're going to do is jump into a live game and then look at the highlights that I did manage to get with this Makaleli card. So let's get into it. Here we go then into the live game. We are coming up against a tough opponent today. Cristiano Ronaldo, Figo, Guardiola, Griezmann, Costa, Carlos. Ramos, Langley, Super Tostegan and uh, Samedo. That is a really, really nice team. It'll be interesting to see how we do get on against this guy. With Makaleli against Ronaldo, can he perform as well as Kante normally does for me? We will find out. So in this formation then, we have Makaleli. Can he get this? Yes, he can. He's playing left centre mid for me. He's told to stay back whilst attacking. Um, I think I normally do that with two of my CDMs. As he's through, Makaleli. No, he doesn't have that quickness with the feet. Um, but yeah, I tell him to stay back whilst attacking. I don't know how he ended up in that position. Can we defend this counter-attack? Makaleli, look, he's filling in at left back. That's really, really nice. That comes down to his work rate, um, high defensive work rate, and he's tell I tell him to stay back whilst attacking because I feel like in this 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation, I like to have my CDM, which is Frankie Dion, to dictate the player, and Makaleli alongside him. To stay, to stay back as well, just to help him out for them dangerous uh, counter-attacks. Good ball, David Villa. Chip by Griezmann. There we go, 1-0. Very, very nice. You see, uh, David Villa is absolutely fantastic. I am loving using that card. I wish I did it on my account. Makaleli. Nice. That's what he does. And if you saw any of my earlier gameplay or anything like that, at the start of FIFA, as we go for the sweat, um... I like players that can just win the ball, quick interceptions, quick standing tackle, his standing ta tackles are exceptional. I would put them up there with Kante, the, the difference between this Makaleli and Kante, I think Makaleli has a greater reach, he can win you the ball back from positions where you might not think you'll win the ball back, he defines actually almost like a spider, like Aaron Wambisaka is labelled at the moment, he will win you the ball back. Can't make it 3-0, Griezmann, what a finesse shot. And I think that's going to be GG's for this game. What we'll do is we'll get into another live game, talk a bit more about Makaleli, because I don't think it's really going to benefit you guys just seeing... How long was that? Like 20 minutes or something? 22 minutes. We'll jump into another live one. Let's see how we can get on. So here we go then into the second game. And um, we're coming up against a strange La Liga team. Tonali. Oh, we've scored from the kickoff. Yeah. Makaleli somehow ended up through on goal, on his left, can he finish? No he can't, he hits the post. He could have had two goals in two games so far for us, but you see, 
that's not really what he's about. You probably want to be playing him at the CDM role. I just thought to really test him out, we want to be putting him at centre mid. I've switched him in and around. I've played him at CDM and CM. I think probably his best position is uh, CDM. But in this team, since we have Frankie De Jong, I feel like Frankie De Jong is, a, is most suited to the CDM role. Because he can dictate the play, has the exceptional passing. Whereas Makaleli runs up and down the pitch. He's more... He's more mobile than a Frankie De Jong, I would say. As we are getting counter-attacked, you see the positioning of Makaleli there, although I didn't, didn't mean to pass it to him there. His positioning is absolutely fantastic. It feels like he's always in the right spot for when you are getting counter-attacked. He's always just sat there, almost waiting to dispossess uh, my opponents, just like he did there, which is really, really nice. Gets us on the counter-attack. Griezmann, can he turn his defender? Griezmann again. Can he finish? No, he can't. Unlucky from Griezmann. You see, again, Makaleli doesn't even come up for the corner. So, whatever it is, he just has that mindset of, I am going to be our our defensive beast. And he does quite often win you the ball back. He's won me the ball back. It's just so good. And he's so fast. With that shadow chemistry style, I think that is key. You get the really, really nice 90 pace. And he can do so much for your team. He is having a great contribution. Um, just like an Angolo Kante would. And that is 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil to us. Really, really nice. All started with Makaleli winning the ball in our own box. We fire it down the other end and we get the goal with Antoine Griezmann. I think this could be another rage quit. If it is, we're going to get into the highlights. And I will talk about all of the pros of Makaleli and some of the cons which I have experienced with the card. We will have to see though if this is going to be a rage quit. So we do get the rage quit. Really, really nice. Great performance from that man, Makaleli. Really, really enjoyed it. Now, let's just get into the highlights that we did manage to get with this card. So, here we go then, guys. Into the highlights that we did manage to get with this 87 Makaleli. Now, you might be thinking, is it a different day? Yes, it is. They didn't drop anything for Footmas. So, I was going to leave this for another day. But we're going to do this Makaleli review today. So, to get us started, a few of the positives that I loved about this card. Pace, 88 acceleration, 77 sprint speed. With a shadow, he is fantastic. As fast as they, you need them to be in that uh, CDM centre mid position. Work rate, high defensive work rate. This guy, you can push on. You know where he will be. He's always in the right spot. I absolutely love that about the card. I think he's just like a Kante. He will always be so reliable. Always just sit in that spot. The Makaleli role, that's exactly what he provides for you. Stamina of 88 is fantastic as well for a CDM. Not as good as Kante, but he's really, really nice in that position. Aggression of 86. You feel like this guy wants to win the ball back for you, and he will do that. He will do a lot of standing tackles. And speaking of standing tackles, 91 standing tackles are absolutely crazy. I showed in the live games how good his tackling was. It leads to goals. It leads to fantastic opportunities. Really, really nice. Another one for me, which I've noticed when I've played against this guy and when I actually used him, is the presence of a Makaleli. Presence of Makaleli is basically having that icon in the midfield. He feels absolutely fantastic. Your opponents know he's going to be really, really tough for them. And I know I can rely on him throughout the game. And being an icon, he has 90 composure. 90 composure, which means his passing's fantastic, his, stand, uh, his tackling is fantastic, and his finishing is really, really good too. Even though it's, what, 41. So that leads us nicely onto the cons then. Attacking abilities, they're not there with the card. They're just not there. 59 shot, dribbling 69 isn't really good enough. Finishing 41. It's not the best, but do you really care? It's Makaleli. He's not known for being an amazing attacker. He's going to be the guy who holds it down for you as he does run through on goal and score that with a fantastic strike. 41 finishing. How does he finish the shots that he finishes? Maybe he has like a secret... Um, Secret finishing trait, who knows, but really, really nice from Makaleli. Scored his second goal that I did uh, get with him. Curve of 45 is another disappointing factor for this card. His passes aren't going to be too inventive. The vision really isn't there for him to make them sort of crazy passes. But overall, this card has everything to be one of the best CDMs on the game. And I do believe it is one of the best CDMs in the game. On Xbox now, it's around 513,000 coins, which I believe to be a bargain for this card. Icon Center Mid, really, really love it. So, guys, for the rating of Makaleli, I've been debating this 
And how would I describe it? I would describe Makaleli as I said, one of the best CDMs in the game. That deserves a really, really high rating from me. And just before we give the rating, big shout out to that Tonali. He was amazing. I would really, really like him as well on my account. But for a rating, I'm going to give Makaleli a 9.0. 9.0, guys, I really do believe he deserves that rating in FIFA 20. I'm surprised more people don't use him. Hopefully, this will encourage you to go out and try this card. He's fantastic. I think you will really, really enjoy it. So thank you very much if you did make it to the end of this video. Thank you for all of your support lately. It's a shame Footmas is disappointing us so far, but hopefully it picks up tomorrow. I'll see you all later for another FIFA 20 video.